so the pressure is 100 kilopascals. The temperature is 25 degrees C. What have these quantities of gases got in common? 32 grams of oxygen, 2 grams of hydrogen, 44 grams of carbon dioxide, 16 grams of methane. Sorry, I can't keep that dramatic voice going any longer. So the answer is they all contain one mole of the gas. So 32 grams of oxygen, well that's the MR of O2, two sixteens, that's one mole of O2. That's one mole of H2. That's one mole of CO2. And that's one mole of CH4. So how many O2 molecules would we have? How many of these would there be in 32 grams of O2? There'd be Avogadro's number, of course. The other thing that we need to appreciate is that these quantities of gases at this specified temperature and pressure all occupy the same volume. So one mole of any gas at room temperature and pressure, so that was that 100 kilopascals and 25 degrees C, they all have the same volume. Even though you've got 32 grams of this, 2 grams of that and so on, the volume that they occupy is the same. So what is that volume? I hear you cry. It's 24 cubic decimeters, which is the same as 24,000 cubic centimeters. So you can see there there's a conversion factor of 1,000 to go from decimeters cubed to centimeters cubed. Now, I just can't believe my luck with this. I've just taken delivery of a new coffee machine. It's in this box here. I've just measured it up and it is pretty much bang on 24,000 cubic centimetres in volume. So let's just go through the information on the box then. If you've got two grams of hydrogen gas, that would be a mole of hydrogen. So that would be 6.02 times 10 to the 23 hydrogen molecules, these things here, and they would occupy this volume, which can either be expressed as 24 decimeters cubed or 24,000 centimeters cubed. So just as we had when we were looking at the masses of chemicals, there's a formula triangle that links these terms for gases, volumes of gases, and it looks like this on the board here. So we've got the volume measured in decimeters cubed, the number of moles, and 24 decimeters cubed. So we'll go back to some information I used at the end of the moles and masses uh, video. And it's about the car that I drive. It produces 144 grams of carbon dioxide every kilometer. So we're asked, what volume in decimeters cubed would this carbon dioxide occupy? I've got both formulae triangles on the board for you now. So again, pause the video, have a go, and then press play and see if you got it right. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to calculate how many moles of carbon dioxide that 144 grams equates to. And to do this, we need the mass triangle so it's the mass, 144, divided by the MR of 44 for CO2. And that gives us a, a number of moles of 3.27 to three significant figures. So that's going to feed into this triangle now. And we're going to work out what that volume would be in decimeters cubed. So to convert that to volume, we feed in the number of moles. And we multiply by 24. You can see that there. And that comes out at 78.5 cubic decimeters to three significant figures. If you wanted that in cubic centimeters, which it doesn't ask for, but just I'm going to do it anyway, you would multiply that by 1,000, and so you get 78,500 cubic centimeters. So let's finish off with this. We'll see how good your Italian is, shall we? 
Uh, we've got a stamp here, a photocopy of a stamp that was issued in 1956 to commemorate the 100 year anniversary of the death of Am Avogadro, um, who obviously the number was named after. So what could this be saying? Let's have a go at saying it. Apologies to any Italians out there who, who disagree with my pronunciation. Volumi eguali di gas nelle stesse condizioni di temperatura e di pressioni contengo lo stesso numero di molecole. It says equal volumes of gas at the same conditions of temperature and pressure contain the same number of molecules. So this magic temperature and pressure of 100 kilopascals and 25 degrees C. If we've got equal volumes, doesn't matter what the gas is, so 24 dm cubed of CO2, 24 dm cubed of H2, 24 dm cubed of O2, 24 dm cubed of CH4, we would have Avogadro's number of each molecule present.